<clears throat> Good morning. This is Coffee with the Rocket Man. <laughs> Coming to you live from Bachelor Hut Studios, where I keep it real, whether you like it or not. Uh, this morning, I, I put out a little post, you know, some ideas and some stuff to talk about. Believe it or not, I do I do have a tough time sometimes. I know it's hard to believe that I find it difficult to figure out something to talk about. But I do sometimes, and you get in a, get in a rut. Well, my old friend Roy Montgomery, he, uh, he said he wanted to talk about Jesus Christ and and how he's merciful and, and good to us. And, and uh, you know, we can't ever take that for granted. Uh, you know, grace is getting something that you don't deserve. You know, we're all sinners, and we don't deserve to be able to go to heaven and be, be in you know, for all eternity in in the presence of a, of a of a holy God, we don't deserve that. That's God's grace. Uh, he gives us that. You know, if we believe in Christ, you know, and mercy on the other hand is not getting what we should get. You know, what we should get <clears throat> is eternal damnation in hell because we are sinners and we are. Um, We are inherently filthy. Uh, that's what we should get. And, you know, as as I got to thinking about that a little bit this morning, I was thinking about the condition that the world is in now. Our country and the world. And and all these problems we're having is a, is a, spirit, it's a spiritual problem. It's um, evil is rampant. Uh, and even us Christians... You know, it's it's difficult uh, on our own power, especially to 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 be to be to be a good person. I mean, it's difficult. Uh, the devil's busy, you know, and he he tries to uh, take our joy, and he tries to uh, uh, make us lose our our focus uh, on Christ and. But Christ has won the battle. Uh, you know, the war's over. It, and all we got to do is accept his love. Now, talking about, you know, this is Paul had sent in 2 Timothy. He'd sent a letter to, you know, to Timothy. Uh, 2 Timothy chapter 3. And it says, you know, the little thing at the top of this chapter says, Difficult times for Christian service, perilous times and perilous men. Now, if that doesn't just adequately describe or accurately describe what we're going through now, I don't know what does. This is what it says. It says, but know this, that in the last days, perilous times will come. For men will be lovers of themselves, lovers of money, boasters, proud, blasphemers, disobedient to parents, unthankful, unholy, unloving, unforgiving, slanderers, without self-control, brutal, despisers of good, traitors, headstrong, haughty, lovers of pleasure rather than lovers of God, having a form of godliness but not denying its power, and from such and from such people turn away. That's an exhortation. You need to turn away. For of this sort sort are those who crit now first of all before I does that adequately describe? I mean, does that peg us where we are right now as a as a community, as a nation, as a world? I think it does. But the Bible says, "And from such people turn away." For of this sort are those who creep into the households and make captives of gullible women, loaded down with sins, led away by various lusts, always learning and never able to come to the knowledge of the truth. Now, as John is and Jambres, is, and I'm sure I've butchered those names, resisted Moses, so do these also resist the truth. Men of corrupt minds disapprove concerning the faith, 
but they will progress no further, for their folly will be manifest to all as theirs also was. But the good thing I love about the Bible and about Paul and, and his inspiration by God, right under that, he gives us a little he gives us a little hope, you know, of how we how we should access. But you have carefully followed my doctrine. That's what we, this is what we need to do. But you have carefully followed my doctrine, manner of life, purpose, faith, long suffering, love, perseverance, persecutions, afflictions, which happened to me at Antioch, at Iconium, at Lystra. What persecutions I endured. And out of them all the Lord delivered me. Yes, and all who desire to live godly in Christ, Jesus will suffer persecution. All of us suffer persecution. But evil men and impostors will grow worse and worse, deceiving and being deceived. But you must continue in the things which you have learned and been assured of, knowing from whom you have learned them, and that from childhood you have known the Holy Scriptures, which are able to make you wise for salvation through faith which is in Christ Jesus. In other words, the only way for us to get out of this predicament, sinful world we live in, and 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 be positive and be uh, is 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 faith in Jesus Christ. That's it. That's the only way. All scripture is given by inspiration of God, and it is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness, that the man of God may be complete, thoroughly equipped for every good work. In other words, if we want to be thoroughly equipped, one, we need to recognize the goodness of Jesus and Christ, God, what he's done for us, uh, how he's been graceful to us, how he's been merciful to us. And then if we want to know how to live correctly in this world, what we got to do is we got to get in the word. And enough, <coughs> excuse me, apparently, I'm having some problems this morning, which is not unusual with all this pollen floating around. But if we need to, uh, if we want to be prepared to live in this old sinful world, we got to get in the Word of God. I'm going to read that to you one more time. All Scripture is given by inspiration of God and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness, that the man of God may be complete, thoroughly equipped for every good work. Amen. All right. Got to study the word. There it is. That's all you got to do. You got to pray, study the word, and you got to believe what you read, and you got to put into practice what you read. And when I say you, I mean me, especially. Especially me. Rocket man needs to put the word into practice. All right, having said all that, I hope y'all have a great Sunday. I hope that was something kind of close to what Roy was wanting. And let's all pray for Roy. He's in recovery after some surgery. He's uh, he's doing better, though. And um, I think he is. I think so, huh, Roy? I think he's doing better. And... Uh, and, and and let's pray uh, for our, our our community, our country, the world we live in, because goodness knows it's in a mess. This has been Coffee with the Rocket Man coming to you live from Bachelor Hut Studios, where I keep it real, whether you like it or not. Like me, love me, share me. I'd like for you to share me, or delete me. That's up to you too. You, I mean, you got that's your prerogative. But most importantly, wake up, people.